Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that could potentially save lives, snakebites. In this video, we'll discuss everything you need to know about snakebites, from prevention to first aid. So, if you enjoy outdoor activities or live in snake-prone areas, keep watching. What is snakebite? A snakebite is an injury caused by the venomous or non-venomous bite of a snake. It can result in various symptoms and complications, ranging from mild discomfort to life-threatening conditions, depending on the snake species and the amount of venom injected. What is snake venom? Snake venom is a toxic substance produced by certain species of snakes. It contains a mixture of proteins, enzymes, peptides, and toxins that can be injected into a victim through the snake's fangs. Snake venom serves both as a means to immobilize prey and as a defense mechanism. The specific composition and potency of snake venom can vary between snake species and can have various harmful effects on the bitten individual, including tissue damage, paralysis, and, in some cases, even death. What are the types of snake venoms and their effects on human body? Neurotoxic venom. Neurotoxic venoms primarily target the nervous system. They can lead to paralysis, muscle weakness, blurred vision, difficulty swallowing and breathing, and, in severe cases, respiratory failure. Examples of neurotoxic venom. Cobras, krites, sea snakes, some species of mambas. Hematoxic venom. Hematoxic venoms affect the blood and circulatory system. They can cause symptoms such as bleeding from the gums and other mucous membranes, tissue damage, organ failure, low blood pressure, and shock. Examples of hematoxic venom. Pit vipers, e.g., rattlesnakes, copperheads, cottonmouths. Cytotoxic venom. Cytotoxic venoms target and destroy cells in the bitten area. This can result in local tissue damage, severe swelling, blistering, and necrosis, cell death. Examples. Some vipers, including the Russell's viper. Myotoxic venom. Myotoxic venoms affect muscle tissue. They can lead to muscle pain, weakness, and in severe cases, muscle breakdown, rhabdomyolysis, and kidney damage. Examples of myotoxic venom. Some vipers and pit vipers. Cardiotoxic venom. Cardiotoxic venoms primarily affect the heart and cardiovascular system. They can lead to symptoms such as rapid heart rate, irregular heartbeat, and cardiovascular collapse. Examples of cardiotoxic venom, some species of vipers and elapids. Procoagulant venom, procoagulant venoms promote blood clotting. This can result in clot formation in blood vessels, leading to complications such as stroke, heart attack, or limb ischemia. Examples of procoagulant venom, some species of vipers and elapids. Anticoagulant venom, anticoagulant venoms inhibit blood clotting. This can lead to symptoms such as bleeding disorders, prolonged bleeding from the bite site, and internal bleeding. Examples of anticoagulant venom, some species of snakes, including some cobras. What are the different types of venomous snakes? Vipers, viperidae, vipers are known for their distinctive triangular-shaped head, retractable fangs, and heat-sensing pits. Vipers are primarily found in the Americas and Europe. Their venom is typically hemotoxic, affecting blood and tissues. Examples rattlesnakes, copperheads and cottonmouths. Elapids, elapidae, elapids are often found in Asia, Africa, and Australia. They have fixed front fangs and lack heat-sensing pits. Their venom is typically neurotoxic, affecting the nervous system. Examples. King cobra, Indian cobra and black mamba. Pit vipers, subfamily crotalini, pit vipers are known for their heat-sensing pits between the eyes and nostrils. They are found in the Americas. Their venom can be both hemotoxic and cytotoxic. Examples. Timber rattlesnake, eastern diamondback rattlesnake and fair de lance. Cobras, elephant subfamily, cobras are characterized by their iconic hood when threatened. They are primarily found in Africa and parts of Asia. Their venom is neurotoxic. Examples. Forest cobra and spitting cobra. Krites, elapidae, krites are typically found in Asia and are known for their banded patterns. Their venom is highly neurotoxic. Examples. Banded krite and Malayan krite. Sea snakes. Hydrophyidae, sea snakes are highly adapted for aquatic life and are found in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Their venom can be neurotoxic. Examples. Yellow-bellied sea snake and beaked sea snake. Coral snakes. Elapidae, coral snakes have distinctive red, black, and yellow ringed patterns. They are found in the Americas, and their venom is neurotoxic. Examples. Eastern coral snake and western coral snake. Taipans, elapidae, Taipans are native to Australia. The inland taipan is one of the most venomous snakes globally. Their venom is highly neurotoxic. Examples. Inland taipan and coastal taipan. Mambas, elapidae. Mambas are large and fast-moving snakes found in Africa. They have potent neurotoxic venom. Examples. Black mamba and green mamba. 
Pit vipers, subfamily Viperinae, pit vipers in this subfamily are typically found in Africa and Europe. Their venom is mainly hematoxic. Examples. Gaboon viper, puff adder and European adder. What are the identification features of venomous snakes? Head shape. Venomous snakes typically have a more triangular or diamond-shaped head when compared to non-venomous snakes. This is due to the venom glands located behind their eyes. Pit organs, pit vipers, pit vipers, a subfamily of vipers, have heat-sensing pits between their nostrils and eyes. These pits look like small openings and help them locate warm-blooded prey. Eye shape. Venomous snakes often have vertical, elliptical pupils, similar to a cat's eye. Body shape and size. Venomous snakes come in various sizes and shapes, but many are thicker and more robust than their non-venomous counterparts. Color and pattern. Venomous snakes may display warning coloration, such as bold patterns or bright colors, to signal their venomous nature. Tail characteristics. Some venomous snakes have rattles on their tails, like rattlesnakes. However, not all venomous snakes have this feature, so it's not a definitive indicator. Behavior. Venomous snakes are often more defensive and may exhibit aggressive behavior when threatened. They may strike defensively, and some have a characteristic S posture when coiled, ready to strike. What to do in case of snake bite? Stay calm. Try to remain as calm as possible. Panic can increase heart rate and potentially spread venom more quickly through the bloodstream. Remove yourself from danger. If you are in a potentially dangerous situation, e.g., near more snakes, slowly and cautiously move away from the snake to avoid further bites. Identify the snake, if safe. If you can do so safely and without putting yourself at risk, try to remember the snake's color, size, and markings. This information can help medical professionals determine the appropriate treatment. Keep the affected area immobilized. Keep the bitten limb as still and immobilized as possible. Remove tight clothing and jewelry. Remove any tight clothing, jewelry, or accessories near the bite site. These can constrict blood flow and worsen swelling. Do not try to suck out venom or cut the wound. Contrary to popular belief, attempting to suck out venom with your mouth or using a blade to cut the wound is not effective and can cause more harm. Do not apply a tourniquet. Avoid using a tourniquet to restrict blood flow above the bite site. This can lead to tissue damage. Do not apply ice or cold packs. Applying ice or cold packs to the bite area is not recommended as it may worsen tissue damage. Keep the bite area at heart level. If possible, keep the bitten limb at or slightly below heart level. This can help slow the spread of venom through the bloodstream. Do not consume alcohol or caffeine. Avoid alcohol and caffeine, as they can increase heart rate and potentially accelerate venom absorption. Seek immediate medical attention. Call emergency services or go to the nearest medical facility as quickly as possible. Receive appropriate medical care, which may include anti-venom administration, wound care, and monitoring. Do not attempt to capture or kill the snake. Trying to capture or kill the snake for identification is not recommended, as it can put you at further risk of a bite. Remember that the most crucial step after snake bite is to seek professional medical care promptly. Medical professionals can administer the appropriate anti-venom and provide the necessary treatment to manage symptoms and complications. What is treatment for venomous snake bite? Anti-snake venom serum, ASVS, is the only specific treatment available for the venomous snake bite cases. ASVS comes in two forms, lyophilized and liquid form. ASVS can be monovalent or polyvalent. ASVS contains specific antibodies which neutralize the snake venom, when sufficient doses of ASVS injected in the victim's body. ASVS is life-saving when victim is bitten by the venomous snake. There is no alternative to ASVS in the current scenario. Note. In rural population of many developing countries are still unaware of treatment of snake bite. In such population, most of the snake bite patients go toward the traditional healers instead of going to hospital which is totally a horrible practice. So, awareness programs should be organized in such rural areas about snake bite, its prevention, first aid and treatment. So, in any snake bite case, whether it is venomous or non-venomous, kindly go to the hospital immediately, instead of going to the local traditional healers. Only a doctor having ASVS, anti-venom, can save the life of snake bite victim, not the traditional healers. How to prevent snake bite? Wear appropriate clothing. When hiking, camping, or working in snake-prone areas, wear long pants, thick socks, and sturdy, closed-toe shoes or boots. Stay on designated paths. Stick to well-trodden paths and avoid wandering off into tall grass, dense underbrush, or rocky terrain where snakes may hide. Be cautious near water sources. Snakes may be near bodies of water, such as lakes, rivers, and streams. Use a flashlight at night. If you're outdoors at night, use a flashlight to illuminate your surroundings. This can help you spot snakes that may be otherwise hidden in the dark. Keep a safe distance. 
If you encounter a snake, maintain a safe distance and do not attempt to handle or provoke it. Many snake bites occur when people try to kill or capture the snake. Be aware of snake activity times. Venomous snakes are often more active during certain times of the day, such as early morning and late afternoon. Be especially cautious during these hours. Avoid reaching into hidden or concealed areas. Be cautious when reaching into places like rock crevices, fallen logs, or debris piles, as snakes may be hiding there. Keep your yard clear. Regularly maintain your yard or property by removing clutter, tall grass, and debris that could provide hiding spots for snakes. Use caution when moving objects. When moving rocks, logs, or other objects in your yard or outdoor areas, use a tool or stick to flip them over rather than using your hands. Educate children. Teach children about the risks of snakes and the importance of not approaching or handling them. Campsite selection. When camping, choose a campsite away from areas with dense vegetation, rocks, or known snake habitats. Carry a snake bite kit, optional, consider carrying a commercially available snake bite kit in snake prone areas. However, these kits are not a substitute for professional medical care. Conclusion. Snake bites are potentially dangerous injuries that require immediate medical attention. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Thank you.